Hi, welcome to your new business voice service from ATC. Today we're going to show you how to set up some speed dial buttons on your new Yalink T46S phone. To set up speed dial buttons, we're going to be programming these buttons on the left and right hand side of your display. That way you can dial somebody quickly with just the touch of a button. To get started, let's press the menu button in the bottom right hand corner. Then we're going to use the arrow buttons down here and toggle over to features. Press enter. And then we're going to come down to this section, line four, called DSS keys. And press enter again. Here we go. We're ready to program our first speed dial button, which is this button right over here. Go ahead and press enter. The first thing we need to do is change the type on row one to speed dial. We're going to use the left and right arrows and toggle through all the options until we get to the one that we need, which is speed dial. Perfect. There we go. Now we're going to use the arrow button again and scroll down to row three, label. This is where we're going to enter the name of our speed dial button. And we're going to have to type it in using the number keys on our phone. To make things easier, let's hit this button right here under the 2AB option and toggle that until you can see all lowercase letters. Now we're going to come down here to the number buttons and type in the name of our quick dial button. Let's assign our first quick dial button to Pam. In order to type Pam's name, we need to hit the 7 key for P, the number 2 key for A, and the number 6 key for M. There we go, Pam. Uh-oh, I've made a mistake. I should probably capitalize Pam's name. I'm going to hit the delete button and back that up and go again. To change my entries to capital letters, I'm going to toggle through these options until I see ABC in uppercase letters. Then I'll come down here and hit the capital P. Now I'm going to go back and turn it back to lowercase, come back down to the number buttons and do my A and M. That looks much better. Now I'm going to move on to row four, which says value. This is where we enter Pam's phone number. If Pam works for our company and this quick dial is for her extension, we're just going to type in her four digit extension which is 2212. Pam's line is all set up and we just need to hit the save button. But let's say Pam doesn't work for our company and has an external number. I'll need to dial her entire 10 digit number. Let's go back into Pam, scroll down to value, and hit the delete button to take out that entry and re-enter her entire 10 digit number. It's important to note that you'll need to enter an eight first to get access to an outside line, then the entire 10 digit phone number. When you're finished, don't forget to hit the save button. And there you go. You've just created your first speed dial for Pam on soft key number one. Continue this process for all of your soft keys if you'd like. Just don't forget to include an eight on all outbound numbers. And that's it. Now you're a pro at setting up quick dial buttons on your new business voice phone. Looking for more helpful videos? Find us online at www.atcnet.net slash business voice support. Thanks for watching.